speak uh, no more than they don't try to speak uh, further and they hide himself they are not trying other than to speak or they lose their uh, own uh, motivation own capacity own power on excitement on curiosity what what is your opinion should we hide ourselves on behalf of other statement negative statement <laughs> uh well you know my feel like was spanish and is really to be motivated is uh, sometimes is complicated even if uh, we speak every day or maybe you are teaching for uh for us it's difficult but if we try to be active in any way involved in english uh, i mean um, to try to be immersed even if we don't have partner for speaking uh, we can we, we can improve every every single day for example in my case um i am old man and i began to learn english uh, you know when young people are st- uh they go to school is easy for them mm-hmm. to learn because they are involved in in the in the language but uh, i think even if we are adult we can improve every day if we try uh well in my opinion i think we must choose good friends who for example sometimes if we are a beginner um we will be focused on make a good friendships who motivate you try to read a good uh, material you know i mean for example uh sometimes easy changes for example when when we are using our phone uh we must change the language and if i don't know in other countries but uh, um, for example before when i remember when i opened on my my account in the bank uh i was using my language and but uh after i was reading and reading i changed the language in my phone and if i have my my own uh, groups i mean uh, i i am using facebook in my language because i had friends in my country but I try to use English. It is for me is really important. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> you know, uh, these all things are basically trap. Trap is like uh, if you want to grow in your life, uh, many obstacle comes, many hurdle comes. People narrow minded people they are very narrow minded they are shallow learner they are trapped right they are trapped or they're not going to achieve their target and that is why uh, einstein a great scientist philosopher he had given a very great quote he had said if you want to live a happy life if you want to live a great life tie with your goal tie with your goal not tie with people not tie with anything <laughs> right That's right yeah i i agree uh, you know um yeah especially uh sometimes we make a a goal in our lives but uh we need to be specific what we we want to do in maybe Okay, so one week, two weeks, or maybe, um, for example, uh, sometimes um, people are focused only on grammar, but when they need to speak, it's, it's completely different. And when, for example, when we are speaking face to face, we need to forget it. Every, Every, everything about drama because textbooks <laughs> is um, a one way but uh, uh, when we are speaking uh, we don't we don't we don't but grammar for me is, is important because it's a, especially um, when we are learning a new language is the, the foundation but uh, uh, for example
example, when I speak uh, with uh, people uh, and they are native speaker, they don't they don't say, uh, for example, they don't use, for example, people. What is your hobby? People say, for example, what do you like? What do you like to do? What do you like to do? Uh, people sometimes we ask, what is your job? What is your job? But people said, what do you do? Uh, yeah, if easy. Easy sentences are are important to learn when when we are uh, in front of the other people because I don't know English is uh, international language but um, for me in my opinion in my opinion I think uh, we must understand other culture and respect its, its culture but we must try to learn about the, the culture the, the about people. For example, people who like to speak a um, British British accent, you know, they need to learn about the, the culture from UK, but, you know, Australian people too. It depends, but for me, it's important to learn about the culture, you know. I, I in my opinion, I don't know what you think. <laughs> yes. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I have my uh, online class already going on. Uh, I have many such uh, students. They have uh, spent a lot of money, but they never realized, they never learned English. Why? Because the methodology of learning, methodology of teaching is quite different. They are following very solidary system, very old methodology. But now, all humans want some praise. They want some compassion. They want some pity. Uh, so what did I realize in my past, I, and that is very great success. So what happened, whenever I teach anybody, I try to make them in comfort zone, very comfort zone. And then I show them the world, like how world is wanting, how people are growing, and how great English has importance. Then I show them like, see the people, they are speaking or you, if you make mistake, other laugh, let them laugh. That laugh at you, you laugh at him, right? <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because uh, even uh, I, have a, I have a friend and he's a teacher and he's from Brazil. Um, Ah, uh, you know, Willington, you know, you, you know, Willington. <laughs> um, and he said that uh, uh, the most important in English is try to communicate our, our ideas. And I agree about that. Uh, sometimes people say, oh, I would like to learn um, American accent. I, I don't, I hate the people said, but uh, the most important, in my opinion, even for me, I have a very strong accent because my field language is Spanish, but I feel proud about my accent. You know, sometimes I speak with people from the US and they are from New York, some people from uh, Miami, but they have, even in the US, they have different accents. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's um, we, we, in my opinion, we must try to be proud about accent we don't never uh, say oh i i can't i can't speak because uh, my accent is not good i i could like sometimes we are <laughs> only comparing with other uh, people uh, you know people you know if we compare with other other people can speak more than us but maybe other people they are beginner and they need help you know yeah uh, okay, I want to clarify here. Uh, I have experience in uh, same age you. Yeah. Uh, I was talking with one of lady United States America. She shared the same idea. Only non-native people remark to you like your accent is not good. Your this is not good. Exactly. Your that. But when you talk with native people, they try to understand. They always suggest they don't want to accent. They want to understand you, your pronunciation, way of speaking, these all things matter. Not like how you speak, it never matter. Because you said very well, I agree that mother, sorry, <laughs> accent is our identity. That 
identifiers we belong from indonesia we belong from uh, japanese we belong from hindi we belong from chinese philippines these all are not bad these all are our identity we should not lose that only we have to be very sure our pronunciation part grammar part and the way of speaking communicated right so uh, that matters so guys never get influenced never try to be victim of such people they say like your accent is worst or if your accent is average <laughs> yeah it's true another uh, another important important point is uh, that uh, sometimes people think that uh, native speaker uh, they speak fast but no it's not true yeah. it's better if if we speak not as slow, but uh, try to to speak the complete word. For example, I uh, in my in my case, mm -hmm. uh, when we speak Spanish, <coughs> excuse me, we speak so fast. Oh my God, we we don't need to because we are we are native native uh, speaker in Spanish. We don't need to complete the word, but uh, in English. We need to speak, try to speak it slow, try to say the complete word. For me, it works. Okay, uh, Hector, uh, just go through some comments uh, and want to know where are you from. I can, I can catch it. Well, and want to know where are you from. Oh, okay, cool. You mean in my country? Yeah, she wanna know. Not me, she wanna okay. know. I know. I am... Well, guys, thank you for asking. Well, I am from Guatemala in Central America. Guatemala is a, a small country. Mm, it's in, next to Mexico, El Salvador, Honduras, and Belize. And we have only 15 million people in our country. Mm, I think um, every people in my country they speak only Spanish, and but actually in my country we speak about uh, fifteen indigenous languages too. Okay, okay, wait, wait, and uh, very wanna know my qualification? Very, I'm not that qualified. I have done my graduation. I have worked in multinational company around nine years and uh, I am an English lover. So I quit my job, full time job. I dive into teaching line or now I am teaching English. So that is what my education is. Okay, Hector, go ahead. I, I can't catch it. I don't know. The sound was not good. Could you speak a little louder? <laughs> Okay, uh, you know, uh, being a teacher, I have developed uh, a speech that should be an average mode so that when I teach somebody, they should not be, un you know, they should learn uh, very easily. My all voice should go their ear, right? There should be convenient. They should not feel inconvenience while my speaking. So that's why I never go fast. I never try to go very fast in rhythm. I always try to uh, speak in the way where anybody can understand my language or they can get me whatever I want to share with them. So this is why I don't speak fast. And I, uh, Mr. Hector shared many uh, native speakers. You can see my video I have upload, uploaded that. They never ask you to become like them. They never uh, want you to become a very good in accent. Yeah, if you are crazy, if you are curious, or you think like I should do better in action, do that. First, you need to improve your base, coordination with grammar, make harmony with grammar, and then go slowly. If you grab the fluency, you are speaking flawlessly. Now there is no challenge communicating with anybody. Your listening skill improved. Then just you need to optimize if you wanna grab the native accent or whomever accent you wanna grab that you can do now but before that you want to grab the fluency you want to develop the deep knowledge of idea how to share 
how to talk and uh, when somebody is asking you have to go in deep reply them if these all things you have once then dive into this world then dive into your deep knowledge or then you can grab that accent but accent uh, doesn't help always sometimes it do yeah is right uh, yeah I, and i think that uh, you are doing a great job because i remember uh, that uh, you have your um a youtube channel and <laughs> i remember that uh, you you use a lot of the facebook group too and yeah you have a lot of experience uh, uh, not only teaching i mean using the camera for for example for me even if i have been in the group long time for me to use the camera i feel afraid uh, i I feel comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like. I, I, I to be very honest. It's, it's a, it's a challenge for me, especially. Um, I feel comfortable when I speak with friends, but uh, when I speak with uh, strange people, especially when I don't understand. Sometimes people speak so fast. Cry. For me, it's, I don't know if for other people, but for me, it's, and I think I need to speak with other other people from other countries because it's important to to learn uh, about other other accent. You know, for me, it's, it's now this app, and I am happy to see you again because uh, once one time, uh, you know, in Facebook, there are a lot of. Members, but